So I think everybody can see now that AI is going to play a very disruptive role in business generally at the moment. And when it comes to the human-centric workplace, we're seeing the deviation in towards a human-centric intelligent workspace with AI right at the heart of the workspace. But in order for organizations to sort of realize that promise, there's three main imperatives they're going to have to look at over the next period of time as we, they move towards involving AI in all of their operations in order to make it powerful. The first thing they're going to need to look at is moving away from AI being a solution looking for a problem and really focusing in on the business. So they're going to have to start to look at the use cases which are going to be used within the organization, which are going to generate value for the organization. And increasingly, that isn't going to be the personal productivity use cases, which have been talked about very, very much in summarize my emails and can you summarize my meeting for me. We're going to have to start to look behind that. Uh, there's two main areas which organizations have to look at, and that means broad engagement between IT and the business. Those two main areas are the use of artificial intelligence for enhanced decision making, and then the second area is looking beyond the individual into teams and processes to look at AI in terms of automation. Now, in order to do that, we're going to have to look at the second imperative. So for people to be able to get the intelligence from it, AI is going to be, have to connect into the data sources within the organization. And we're talking about both structured and unstructured data sources, because 90% of data in the organization is in fact unstructured. When they interrogate that data, they're going to have to check for a number of things. They're going to have to check, first of all, is that data relevant for the questions they're going to be asking? The second thing they're going to have to do is, is that data relevant? There are many, many versions of many documents and many data sources in most organizations. Which is the most up to date? Which has got the right information? AI isn't going to be able to work that out for you, so you're going to have to do some work around that. And then the third area they're going to have to look at is the sensitivity of the data. You're going to be able to get to things you possibly couldn't have got to before. Um, and therefore you're going to have to look at the restricted access to that data and make sure that it's in the right hands of the right people for the right purposes for the right use. The final piece in the jigsaw is actually how you move AI from being aspirational to transformational. And the way in which organizations are going to have to do that is they're going to have to change the way they work. If you think about it, work is the only thing in an organization that achieves outputs and outcomes. And the work that is existing within organizations today was conceived in a pre-Gen AI and AI world. So therefore you now have a constraint removed when it comes to work design, and that can impact who does the work, where they do the work, when they do the work, and particularly how they do the work. And so you can reimagine the work in, a, in an AI world. That will allow you to get incremental benefits beyond the personalization approach and actually look at it driving benefits across the entire organization, very much tied into the strategy objectives of the organization.